Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go through how to create a plaid or tartan pattern. This come in really handy if you are doing greeting cards. So this could be a liner for the envelope or it could even be a pattern that you put on the back of the card. They are also handy if you're doing illustrations and you want to throw in that plaid or tartan pattern into any article of clothing. There's a ton of ways that you can actually use this. So to get started, I'm just going to zoom in and then I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and just create a background color. Turn that stroke off and I'm going to switch to like a light blue. And one thing to remember when you are making a pattern like this, in my opinion, it is best to keep it under five or six colors. If you go above that, it gets a little chaotic looking. So it's best to kind of keep a simple color palette. So once again, with that rectangle tool, I'm going to change, I'm going to put a rectangle down and then I want to change that color to a darker version of that blue. But I also want to go in the layers panel and change that opacity. And you will see why in just a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to do 75%. And then holding Option or Alt, I'm just going to drag this one down and then go through and create one more. But this time I want to do white. And once again, change that opacity. For this one, I'll do 65%. I'm actually going to take this one, holding Option or Alt, drag this to the top. And I want to make sure that it is repeating on that bottom side of the artboard. So in your transform panel, go to Y and then hit plus and then whatever size your artboard is. Mine happens to be 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. So I'm just going to do plus 2000. Before you do that, make sure that you always copy and paste that shape. Um, if not, it just moves it. So Command C, Command V to copy and paste. And this time, because I'm actually moving it to the top of that artboard, it's going to be minus 2000. So now we have the shapes that we need. So I'm just going to create one more color maybe a green, and once again, take down that opacity. And I'm just going to repeat this. So you may have noticed on some plaid or tartan patterns, there are lines that are kind of like diagonal stripes almost. So if you wanna create something like that, I'm, we'll start with the pen tool, make one point, holding a shift, and make your second point. And now come over to your right side, go to the stroke, make sure the cap is round. Right now it is at 1.5, I think that should be okay. But for now I'm just going to go to color and I'm going to change that stroke to white. I actually like the size of this one. I'm just going to rotate it to the right and then I want to go to layer and expand stroke. I'm going to zoom in so I can get a little bit of a better look. So the same thing that we did earlier with that top rectangle, we're going to do with this stripe. So copy and paste, so Command C, Command V, go to your transform panel and this time go to X and do plus 2000 and it will copy to that other side. After zooming in, select that first stripe that you made, holding Option or Alt and Shift, pull to the right, and then hit Command J, and that's just going to duplicate. You want to duplicate it all the way across. And you may get something that looks like this where there is a gap. Don't worry about that. Grab all of the stripes, go up to your uh, line, 
button or alignment button. Align to selection bounds. And then this very last one up next to align horizontally is space horizontally. This way it gives an even space between all of those. And you may have something like this where there's a slight gap. So grab that second one in. Same thing as earlier, Command C, Command V to copy and paste, and then go down to your transform panel and add 2000 to X. And now you have it copied to that other side. And then I'm just gonna grab all of those and group them together. So Command G, or you could also right click group holding Option or Alt. And you could always throw something like this in really anywhere you want. But I actually just like it on those blue spots. So once you have everything done the way that you would like it, grab everything except for that background color and go ahead and group. So once again, Control G or right click group. Copy and paste, Command C, Command V. And then rotate, you can hold Shift and just make sure you rotate it all the way around. And if it's not aligning correctly, it's okay because you've already created the space correctly for those white stripes. So you can just move it around. And as you can see, the ones where we put an opacity on the stripes, you can see where they're overlapping. You have that darker color, just like you should in any plaid or tartan. And if you're not getting a strong enough difference in the color, you can always go in and change opacities. So I knocked that down to 80%. I'm gonna knock this other one down to 80% as well. And I actually like that quite a bit. So now all you have to do is export your pattern and you can use it on any of the print on demand sites like Spoon Flower, or you could use it via Bitmap and Affinity Designer to add patterns to your designs. So I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Thank you.